Welcome to the tutorial, how to encrypt your USB stick contents. Now this method is also compatible with uh, portable hard drives or your mobile phone, uh, any other storage key or anything like that. Now there are a couple of ways of uh, doing this. Um, one way is uh, very common with uh, using Windows um, by right clicking a file or folder um, under the properties you can actually encrypt the contents of the file or folder. Uh, one of the problems of doing this is that you're not offered a password it's actually encrypted and locked to that account on that computer. So what one of the problems of this is if you're away from uh, your computer you won't be able to access uh, your data you can't enter a password or anything like that it's specifically locked to your account um, and uh, another problem is if something happens to your account such as uh, it becomes corrupted uh, accidentally deleted um, uh, you have a virus or you format your computer uh, something like that, then you'll never be able to open these files again and if they're your only copy, uh, your data will be lost. So for today, we're going to be using uh, a software, an application called Dmailer Backup. Okay. To obtain Dmailer Backup, you need to go to www.dmailer.com Dmailer is D-M-A-I-L-E-R as spelled above there and press enter. Once you arrive at their website, you can download Dmailer Backup from Software Dmailer Backup. Here's one I downloaded and extracted earlier. Okay. So to launch Dmailer Backup now, we just need to double click it. Okay. So for this to, to work as well, Dmailer Backup needs to have been stored and launched from your USB key or your USB device that you choose to uh, encrypt the data on. Okay. okay. Once the mail backup opens, we then need to accept the license agreement. Click next um, and select an encrypted profile here. So first we need to add our password, which is a minimum of six letters. Then we need to confirm it. You can add a hint. Okay, and then we can click next. Now, if your data is stored on your key, you need to first move it back to your computer. Okay, and store that temporarily somewhere or the computer you're using. Um, then we're going to open the advanced settings of backup to your drive, and we're going to select those files um, that we want backed up. So this can be anything at all that you want backed up and encrypted. So to make this quick, I'm just going to take text documents from a small folder. And we can also set a live backup, which means if we plug the key uh, back in while we're working on our files, they'll be automatically backed up again. So this is especially handy if you know you arrive at work, you plug your key in in the morning, you work on your files all day, um, and then at the end of the day you can close the email of backup, pull your drive out and be sure that all your, all your data is stored there. There's also some other filters that we won't be using today. And just double checking again here, we select the folders we want and the file types and apply. Okay. Um, as well, if you wanted additional backup of these files uh, for additional security, you can create an online account which will upload your data to one of the mailers' uh, online uh, uh, storage servers. Okay, but today we won't be doing that either. And then we simply click next again, which will launch the backup of those files to our USB device. Okay, we can view the summary and that's done. Okay, okay, now to show you that file that I backed up, it's here um, from my pictures, which is hello, 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 quite simple. Um, now, if we navigate to this folder on the drive, um, it will be stored within the Dmailer backup data under files and here it is. So if we open this file what we will see is an encrypted file. There we go. So that's been encrypted with AES 128 bit encryption uh, which is very strong encryption and uh, unbroken. So 
that ensures and guarantees uh, your data's protection there. If you need to open these files again, you just need to plug in your USB stick or USB device, launch the emailer back up as we did before. When it opens from the View Files tab, you can navigate to your files and you have the choice to open the file on the PC or the folder. If we open the file, we can see our file in an unencrypted state there and we could save the file or we could perform a restore by using the restore button which will restore all the contents um, to our computer. Additionally, if you need to re-encrypt this data again, um, all you need to do is launch the emailer backup and run a backup again. Um, we, don't, we won't have to do this though. If you check the live backup button, it will be done automatically once the emailer backup is running. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.